What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to start a baking show today. Technically. Technically. We're going to be baking plastic. That sounds safe. Is this safe? Not yet. Not yet, but it's going to be. Did you guys know you can make your own baits? That's pretty neat, pretty rad, pretty cool. Uh, we've had the gear to do this for a while. This a is a shame on us video. This is a it's shame on us. It's been a year, it's gotta been a year. We, literally, we had Do It Molds on our podcast a while ago. Best of the best. And uh, they helped us pick out a beginner kit. So we got our beginner kit right behind us here in this big old box. We're gonna make our own plastics. We're gonna make every mistake that you can make. On purpose, slash accident. On purpose, for sure. And then, but we're gonna be safe while we do it. We'll show you the safety gear. And then at the end of it, we're hoping that we come out with usable plastics that we can go catch fish on. Is that it? Is that what Sounds we're doing? Sounds neat. Let's do it. Here we go. Here's your box. Do Pyrex it by Do It Mold. Those are anchor, not Pyrex. Anchor glass. That is from Do oh, Okay. <laughs> that is from Do It. So this is from Do It. There we go. So this is where your hot. This would be totally fine. You, this is where your hot plastic goes in. You press the plunger down, and it goes into the mold. So this is a very important thing. Why are there two of yeah. these? There are two of these because then you can do a laminate where you have like two different colors in the same plastic, like the top and the bottom. Or you can fill them both up with the same, and then you can just have one color. So this gives you a lot of better options. What I'm really excited about is that we're making these. So this is the fancy, the fancier version of their mold. Uh, but God, those. So those are gonna be a Ned rig, and it makes eight in each one. And then you're gonna have your little sprue right there in the middle. So that's where you're, uh, that's where you shoot your plastic. This is for taking temperatures, it's a little gun there. Uh, so once your hot plastic is in the cup, you take, you shoot the, this at it and it tells you how hot it is. There's a certain temperature that you want. Uh, so we're gonna help figure that out with this. Ooh, safety. So this is part of our, this is our part of our breathing apparatus, which you'll see us in a minute. You do not want to breathe in the fumes from this plastic. Do not do that. Get yourself a high-end, uh, some sort of protection from that. Breathing apparatus. It's gonna be one of these. These are for keeping the plastics. Something you probably don't think about, but where are you gonna put these when you're done? After they cool? In here. Oh, and a Senko mold. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. The best flake that ever existed. Gotta have it. So we got to make some choices on flakes. So we, we didn't really know what the sizes were. Um, so we got copper, which is, I mean, we had to have copper. Uh, so there's your copper flake. We went with the big dog on that one. Um, why does it say <coughs> Paul's personal stash? Don't worry about me. <laughs> this is for me specifically. I think this is a, a much smaller version of that copper. Leaky stuff. Oh no. So this is the hog sauce. That's for your scent. Looks like it was good that that was in a bag because it's half empty. Measuring tubes. So you're gonna need- I mean, tablespoons. <laughs> these are not measuring tubes. These are measuring spoons. This is for measuring and dumping in uh, your glitter slash whatever you want to call it. It's basically glitter. Mm -hmm. So this is for measuring those. You kind of want to keep track of your recipes. I have a little book over here. I'm gonna just- make general um, note of all the things that we do. So if we if we make something we really like on accident, we can re replicate what we did. This, it just leaked all through here. Ah, there's hog sauce everywhere. Here's the plastisol. So here's your plastisol, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need to mix this up. I think there's some really special rules on how to do that. Garlic for vampires. This is the one, oh no, yeah. Garlic sauce, this is probably what we're gonna use a lot of. Eyeballs. I don't know. Oh yeah. There's your order book. Well, if you wanted to. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so if you wanted something, you wouldn't use this book. You would use the one underneath of it, which is almost pristine. Why did you do that? Recycle. Oh, you kept the pristine ones, all right? Those are the best two. <laughs> Damn it. Well, here's glitter. So we got fire red, silver, copper, more fire red in a different size, light purple in two different sizes, Canadian blue, navy, and another, and a black. Now, okay. you'll notice all the different uh, sizes. We got the 0 .008, 040, 015, different sizes for different baits. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the floor. <coughs> and then we got this big old jug and more, a bunch of colors. More plastisol. All right, crystal clear plastic, soft. So let's talk safety for today. I, I, I safety. I need gloves. We are getting gloves. We have respirators, a breathing apparatus. All right, so for our first experiment. These are so small. <laughs> we're wearing gardening gloves, but don't worry, we have gloves. So well, we're we'll protected off. from okay. chemicals and heat. We are gonna wear all the safety apparatuses. We've got all the stuff out here and we've decided this is the color combo and the mold that we're gonna use. So we are going for the Ned rig, obviously. Why wouldn't we do that? And with this, you get eight. Okay, so that's exciting. But we figured, you know what? 
Let's just let's just do a split color let's for the, the first one. The most me... insane combo that we can think of. So we're going chartreuse, a June bug, split, and then with the chartreuse on that side, you're gonna have purple flake and copper. <laughs> like obviously. And then on the uh, June bug, you're gonna have black flake. Why not? But first, we need a microwave. That's pretty nice microwave. Since when? Shut up. So first things first, we have to learn how to do what we want to do. Also, we need to unbox this microwave. So transition. We're back and we're instructed. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, huge shout outs to everyone who's reached out to us over the past uh, six Year. months, who has been you know, giving us tips and tricks and they're very disappointed in us for not making these baits already. We're already sorry. We're sorry and we're here to make them. But thank you for the safety tips. So we've got our breathing apparatuses to stay safe. We've got gloves to make sure that we don't burn ourselves. We're gonna be extra cautious with all of this as you should if you're gonna to decide to do this on your own. We also- We're doing just, it in a well-ventilated space called a garage. Yeah, we're in the garage and uh, we took a bunch of notes. We got a bunch of advice from uh, the likes of World's Worst Fishing, who's like one of the best bait makers on YouTube, I would say, uh, with tons and tons of instructional videos. So if you want real good instructions from somebody who's been doing it for a long time, go check him out. Or Evo. Or Debo. Debo's been doing it for a long time. We got tons of advice from him as well. Uh, Brennan Brown, Brown Bait Co. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, so we appreciate all you guys for all that. Now, we're going to experiment. Here's the deal. I watched the video. I took the notes. Yes, this is a role reversal. Normally, that's Paul's job. Uh, this time... I supervised the watching. Paul supervised the watching. And by that, he was doing box jumps on his tailgate. Um, so I'm going to instruct him via just the notes I have. We're playing a very safe game of telephone. Basically, I took information from World's Worst Fishing. Now I'm going to give that information to Paul. And Paul's totally not going to mess this up. So, uh, you ready? Yeah. All right. Got to, why do I have the flower gloves now? I see you ditched uh, these. Yeah, well, I'm going to use the real size. All right, dang it. Paul's getting some ice water. That was a recommendation from World's Worst Fishing. It's cold out here, by the way. Uh, so what we're gonna do is try to hopefully cure these baits a little bit faster. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up our Plastisol. In this case, we're going the Do It Soft Baits Essentials Series. And uh, you're gonna give this a good vigorous shaking. What we've got here from Do It is these little squeeze tops. So you just replace your metal top with that. So we have these colors ready to squirt. We're gonna make sure there's no moisture or dust in these things. So we're gonna wipe these two out real quick. All right, so obviously we decided to challenge ourselves. We're doing two, two cups at the same time because we have two different colors. Can you calm down with your silverware? No! <laughs> so we got two colors going at the same time. So we're gonna be heating up our plastic salt in these two cups. It's gonna adjust our cooking times a little bit is where it is. First things first, shake this, go vigorously. I like how he stepped away. Measurements are key here. So we uh, looked it up. These are four ounces each injector. So we're going to convert that to cups. We got half a cup. So we need to get at least half a cup of Plastisol in here, a little bit over. We don't want to be under, that would be bad. And we're gonna do that in each of these. And then we're gonna cook it. At this point, I'm putting on my apparatus, so I'll stand close to talk to you guys. Are you proud of me now, Dad? This is very breaking bad of us. So we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna cook it for two minutes and 30 seconds, and then we're gonna take it out and take a look. It should be getting clear, and we wanna make sure we don't have a ton of bubbles. So after 2.30, we're gonna then stir it on up. Hanging on a trash can. Hanging on a straight light. Strumming on my banjo. Out right in the eyeball. <laughs> it just says add a few drops as needed. Yep, just give me that. We're gonna slap some garlic in here too, just a few drops. Safety first. I'm not wearing gloves. <laughs> Let's take a look. Stirring on up, looking good. Obviously very hot, a couple of bubbles. It's okay if there's bubbles, we're gonna cook it again. Important to get all that stuff up off the bottom. We're gonna mix that all in. Notice it's obviously a lot more clear. It's yeah, it's very cool. clear. 
So we're going to stir both these up. We're going to put them back in for 45 more seconds. Is this supposed to be like gel? Yes. Oh, it's plastic, bro. I'll just make it sure. I don't know what consistency we're shooting for. Liquidy. So surface temp. 307. I mean, we're there. We're good. Back in for 40 seconds. Look, just call me Bill Nye, but I'm just asking. Now nah, is the science guy. I am the science guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking a lot more clear. Pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, looks quick good. surface temp. 390. A little much. Okay. It's all right. We're That's good. fine. We're going we're gonna to pull this off. Make sure there's nothing stuck on the bottom there. So next thing we got to do is add some color. So we're going to go using the system from World's Worst Fishing. You said about 40 drops. Kind of go by feel with this. 48, 69, 73, 32. Oh, the chartreuse dough. That color swirling in. Oh. <laughs> that one's looking good. That's that's I like that. So 40 drops is good, I think. Okay. So for Two one minutes. for one flake, it's a quarter teaspoon. Oh, look at that stuff. Yeah. And then for these two colors, we're gonna go with an eighth of a teaspoon each. <laughs> Pretty juice. <laughs> and then that copper. This is the smaller one. Okay. I have glitter all over me. That's right. You look pretty. <laughs> You're out of glitter. I know. All right. So let's stir that glitter in there. Numero dos. Ooh. Ooh. You got to get this one mixed pretty good. Yeah, you do. Okay, we're we're dropping. We're at 290. It's very cold outside, so it is cold. So this is tough to do in this type of temp. If we're in a warehouse. This is easier. Good call. It's probably some giant mistake I'm making. Nope. Never heard of her. Add a little bit of scent. We're gonna re-stir them real quick, and then we're shooting. This feels very much like a middle school science project. What was the uh, where you make the bugs? Yes, creepy crawlies. Yeah. Oh, bubbles, not bad. Not bad. Ready? All right, so here we go. Injector, pulling both colors to the best of our ability. It's very stiff. <laughs> Could be temperature slash sitting and storage a lot. Kind of a pain getting used to this thing. Put this thing right there. There we go. Okay. Ready? Hold it firm and inject, my friend. That's definitely stuck. What is it stuck on? I don't know. Bit of a hiccup here, folks. Well, yeah, this mess is done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't mix those in there. We can put them back into these things and remelt them. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And we're going to have to take them apart to get that shit out of there. Oh, God. See, it's still hot. Man. Show me the bucket. There's it's bucket. okay. That all just melted down one day. <laughs> <laughs> the bucket of baits. Well, big mistake. We didn't do it. It's all right. That's okay. We're going to persevere. That's all. What a look. That's pretty dope. Look, that actually looks pretty good, I think. Don't you? That balance? That looks great. That looks dope. So that's what we're going to get. I don't get. think we need the blue. We don't really need the black in there. No. Should we do blue? Just... Okay, so we're learning from this. Now, let's take a look at what we did make and if anything happened here. <laughs> do you think we got any into this? I don't know. All right, so I think we got one like half of it about is. eight of them or half of four of them or whatever. Oh, it was, it was done. It was, it was done. Just, it was just full. Yo, we overdid the heck out of that. Okay, so great success. No, <laughs> no bad success. Okay, so we got some that are like more purple all than others. All one and all the other one. Okay, maybe we should just do a singular color. Well, no, there we go. We got to figure out. Toss this in the cold water. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna Google and find out why. Sideways. It's it's gotta be how I shot it. The chartreuse, which is really just clear. We need way more chartreuse in there. Oh yeah. And then the purple. It's, actually, that's a really good call. It's not chartreuse at all. Holy cow! Yeah, there was no chartreuse no. Like, at all. That was perfectly clear. That was like motor oil. Not even. Yeah, it looks. Chartreuse didn't come through at all. At all. So chartreuse needs way heavier, and the purple needs not as much. And then why we also know that? that we can do two batches. So next time we can do the Senko and the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I'm, I'm wondering... All right. So we learned a couple of things. One, that 
this does a lot more than one mold so we could probably try and do the Cinco's and this next time two it was definitely hot enough that wasn't the problem likely uh three we didn't get nearly enough chartreuse so we need more chartreuse but everything else looked freaking cool and then <clears throat> we need to figure out why it didn't do like the laminate top bottom like i don't know maybe i did it too fast or maybe i did it too slow it smells like garlic very much <laughs> i put a lot in I'm not yeah. lie. <laughs> good easy cleanup that's the kind of the to me that's the craziest part is how easy the cleanup is just because once it cools you can just scrape it off and everything yeah that was fun not gonna lie yo this one on its own though right it's kind of clear sweet. water magic so here's Look what we that. made here's what we made the obviously there's something wrong with the laminate so this comes down this way and one side was like almost all purple you could see it yep. kind of started to blend there but not really then the other side had like the june bug but then like nothing else so i think we had too much june bug first of all this is yeah. black yeah so way too much but you you're right though it is mixed it is mixed you're, it is yeah because the glitter's in there i wonder if so it's our color but the, it's not but it's not balanced it's obviously not balanced yeah the chartreuse didn't come through at all so yeah we need way more chartreuse than the clear kind of this this though this one though it was like i'm ready to fight over this one so let's do this again my turn yeah, oh I'm really gonna, yeah all right all right you don't get to do all of it i just again. like don't trust you that's all <laughs> why 80. Idea, idea chartreuse is actually more of the glow component the green and the chartreuse would make the chartreuse we're used to fine that's my thought whatever <laughs> okay can you grab me a squeezy top yeah we're just doing it on the fly. Everything's fly. You know what? Instructions are for losers. No, they're not. They're for cool people, that's, and I'm not cool, so no instructions for me. Fortunately, it smells not bad in here. It's all about the angle of the dangle from Bojangles. They both go to four ounces. How? Plus dirty on here? Yep. Where? Oh, there. Yeah, try reading. And now we yeah. wait. Now we play the waiting game. There's nothing better than like neighbors walking by and like, ah. Oh. Hey, I'm just doing some drugs. How are you? How's your day been? Good. So we're gonna do a mixture evenly. We're gonna double this. So we're gonna do like, uh, what would we do? I think we should do 40 and 20. Yeah, and we're gonna cut this back. So that should make more of a chartreuse. We're gonna have the purple flake in there. And then we're gonna do way less. We're gonna do half, 20 drops of that with the blue flake, and then like two gallons of sauce. Sauce me, Blazer. Saucy. Get your stuff. All right. All right, it's ready. So we're trying to be gentle as possible. We're waiting till all the dark light mixes in. 345, 340. And we want to keep these as close in temp as possible within 15 degrees, so hoping that we can stay here. 347. All right, so now we go for 30 seconds. Yeah, see if you can smash it harder. I'm so excited! So am I. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right. 18. 20. That's pretty good. We said 20 of this one? Yeah. That's pretty good there. Let's go. 40. Oh, that is not helpful. There we go. You have no idea what you just did. All right. Pour it this. Pow. Let's get to blending these. Dude, watch this swirl. Oh, what have I done? Oh, that's good. We're too busy thinking whether or not we could. We didn't stop to think if we should. I think right. you're good, man. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. This is soycin. Keep going. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Alright. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. First so shot. And easy. It should just hit a sticking point when we're full. Yep. There, that's it. Okay. Now shoot a little as you pull it out. Yep, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now go, now go, now go. This one's, yeah, a lot Keep fuller. going. Okay, we're good. That's yeah. that. that. That's good, that's good, you're good. <laughs> we did it! We did it, babe! I don't know what this is gonna look like, Dude, but I'm gonna no, be sick. This, this is what it's gonna look like. Look at that right there. Get that out. Dude, that was fun! Dude, that was rad. That was so fun! That was so rad!
That's just so cool. <laughs> you want to go shoot baits in the garage? Yup. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull apart. I think we're gonna Let's do see the what neds. we got. Neds Check first. the neds. This is our second attempt. Oh, oh, they didn't mix, but they're both really cool. They are. We got to figure out the laminate. We're not understanding the laminate. But it's dude, the color down the, the individuals sides. are freaking awesome. I would fish these all day. Ah! All right. In your bucket. Let's see the Senkos. Next. Show me the Senkos. <sighs> oh my God. Closer. Close. One of them is split. One split there. That's <laughs> it. All right, we got to figure this out. We're getting colors going. We're getting something working. Um, we gotta figure out the laminate, but dude, that color combo was sick. Yeah. Still too much purple. Yeah. We might wanna just do a singular color. No, I okay. love what we're doing. I love this. All right. We're trying okay. hard. Guess what? We figured it out after we screwed up, and I'm sure you, anybody who knew what they're doing, they were probably watching us do the first Screaming half. Screaming at the television. So mad. So don't worry, we figured it out. Thanks to our buddy Debo. Guess what? This is not the proper orientation. Well, it's a way. This is the That's proper the way, way to do it. So when this, when these two, when it's, when everything's coming down the, uh, this is a better way to look at it. Jump at it, right? Yep. When it's coming down, they just split side like this. But if you uh, turn it, if this you turn way, it sideways, then some goes here, yes. some goes there, some goes here, some goes there. That's what we wanted. I wanted green on the top, purple on the bottom. So this is what we're gonna try and do. The other thing we saw. So this is how they turned out. It actually turned out pretty darn good. The green I like, but it needs to be a little bit more chartreuse so a little more yellow. And the purple turned out really good, but it's just still too dark, although it's a lot better than what it was. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of clear to both of them, and then, <clears throat> so that should lighten this one up to where we want it. And then this, we're gonna add more of the chartreuse and some of the clear, and that ought to do it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully. Round two, am I doing this one or are you? We are. I don't like that. All right, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. Fight. Add clarity. This stuff's already almost done. Yeah. All right. Well, that's why we get jugs of it. More jugs. Right. Restirring, remelting right now. So we're gonna splice this and see what happens. Yes, this is an experiment. No, we've never done this before. Isn't that the point? Let's see what this does. No idea. This is probably a bad idea. It's okay. We're just playing around. For science! This is already bad. So far, not so good. It's okay, you only wasted four tablespoons of our own glasses <sighs> sauce. We have a whole lot of I know, it's right there. This is Slimer <laughs> from Ghostbusters. Yeah. Science is happening. Momentous truth. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna drop it in. Shoot it this way. Okay. Oh, yep. Perfect. Great. All right. Looks like a soupy disaster. Let's find out in five minutes. We'll see ya. That was. Ah, nice. All right. So what have we learned today? That this takes some effort. This takes work. Fancy that. What I have also learned is that this is very fun. It reminds me of, do you guys have those creepy crawler kits as kids where you would like basically do this? You would just inject a mold and you would get a little dangly spider or something out of it. This reminds me exactly of that. Uh, and that brings back much joy and nostalgia. So I'm excited to see how this last set turns out. This will obviously not be the last time that we do this. We have a lot more to do and a lot more colors to play around with. Um, yeah, highly recommended. If you guys haven't made your own baits, you should definitely go and do that. Moment of truth. We've given it some time. We're gonna open up the molds. This is our, our last shoot of the day. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh, we, we did, did it! it! <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how it works perfectly oh when you do God. it right. <laughs> Yo. All right. Show it's the, so much fan. less green. Fan. It's still oh. dope though. The purple is way better. The purple is better. We had to mix. Dude. We had to mix in some different greens. I like the other green better. Yep. All right. But dude, it, this is good. Get in there. Boom. Rinse. All right. Loser. Let's check the Let's see All if right. we're two for two. So obviously. This made a big oh, difference. Oh yeah, we did it! It works! Oh ah! yes! It works! Hell oh yes. my gosh. 
Hell yes. Dude, dude. those turned out. That's oh, money. yeah. That is the color I will throw all that, year. That's money, dude. Boom. All right. Good job. Ah! We did it. Yay. Dude, that was awesome. Thanks to Debo's Fishing for yeah. correcting our mistake. The internet. I just watched one of his videos and then instantly was like, oh my gosh, we oriented that thing wrong. Highly recommend you guys look up instructions on this before you just jump right No, in. watch this video. Oh, you're out of your mind. So Let's how, do a walkthrough of uh, how so, today started slash how it's going. So round one, the purple was basically black. The clear was actually pretty cool, but way too clear. Yep. Um, and that was with 40 drops of chartreuse. So the chartreuse adds zero depth of color unless so, you maybe put 100 drops in. We're, this is what I'm saying. Like you're learning these concoctions. So we made some will. changes. We added green. We added the green, which turned out really good. Oof. We got rid of some of the purple, but not quite enough. But then we still were having this, like, I wanted top and bottom, not like left and right, yeah. with the color split. So we Googled and we did some things. And then we finally came to our final iteration, which ended up being the purple still a little dark. A little so I dark. think we could get some more clarity there, maybe get an actual purple instead of a June bug. And the green is a little dark, but again, we were just messing around, but then we fixed the main issue and we got this nice split down the middle with that laminate. Yeah. Thank you, Debo. And I think, look, from, from all intents and purposes, like this is a big success. Yeah. I know I can replicate this green. I know I can do better on the purple and keep yeah. tweaking it, but dude, these are very fishable. These are awesome. Like we did the thing. Like, look at this. From the start to the finish, like totally different. I love it. Yes. Also, uh, we heard a little vacuum sucking going on. There's your. Oh. Oh yeah! So we didn't quite get all the plastics all in. So Good this call. one worm is actually hollow. So you have to make sure you get that I even did that shoot. On, I did that on purpose, obviously. The uh, this one has an issue, and then these two are actually good. So those two those two came out good. Yeah. And then these two have like a little <laughs> little dents in them. That's awesome. You know what? But How the nets cool. came out good. They did. They I think every great. net came out good. That's Sweet. so sick. Yeah, so I think the difference between this green and this green, obviously, we we had the plastisol cooked well, clear. before. Yeah. Oh yeah. We added plastisol. That was this. This was a, not mixed yeah. well. It's it's just, it is what it is. What it is. We were happy with. We didn't want to waste. Yeah. Still going to use that, uh, but we ended up using pretty much all of it, and then we'll leave these in here. We can remelt those next time. So you're not going to like save a million dollars doing this, especially the first couple of tries. This you could save money in yeah. the long run. You can also make your exact plastic. So if you're a guy who's like. I like five colors, no other colors. I like two or three patterns, no other patterns. This is for you. <clears throat> or if you like to mess around and just enjoy what you're doing, this is definitely for you. This is so much easier than what I thought it was going to be. It is. We put this off for a long time. One, it was winter. Uh, it was basically winter when we got all this stuff. I just thought it was gonna be a huge hassle. We thought it was gonna be a massive hassle. It it's wasn't. Not that no. big a deal. It I mean, really within no. an hour and a half, we did four shoots. And the cleanup is actually really four, easy. The cleanup is really easy. Yeah. Uh, if Look you were, it. if you got like this is cleaning up. <laughs> Done. Like, come dude, on, dude, that's this is so cool. It's crazy, awesome. Yep. And then, I mean, obviously making your own thing is pretty cool. Now, yes, you have to do an investment for sure. Do it molds, they have everything you need, which is rad. All the stuff is from them with the exception of the safety gear. Go watch our other video and see exactly where we got everything. They have starter kits, so you can just That's get a starter kit. Yeah, we got the starter kit and then we just like pick some colors and stuff. Yep. Another thing I will say, yeah, watch a video like this one and just Please. take really careful notes. Look at all the different components, mm -hmm. like even down to the knives for stirring, the spoons for scooping. Like you do actually need all pretty much all this stuff yep. and some rags and whatnot. Um, dude, I, it's super I would do this, fun. I would do this again. I'm going times. to be doing this again. Cause we got a lot more to learn. Like and, I, I want to try a lot more color. Oh yeah. And one last thing, save all your old plastics. If this is something you have like, or, or if you know of somebody that makes pla like uh, can, can do this, save these you're going to get some kind of green pumpkin some version of it when you're done uh we're going to melt these down later and make our own but like all this doesn't have to go to waste yeah so like don't leave this laying around don't throw in the trash where it doesn't need to go and i'm really excited this is actually probably gonna be one of the things i'm most excited to try next that'll be a video that we make where we take a bunch of these old baits and melt them down and try to make something new out of them 100 reduce reuse recycle my friends now i need the katana craw Yes, we need we need a few more molds. Um, the, we, so we These had, are great. This is where you should start. Yeah, the Yamamoto Senko is a great <laughs> one. Those Neds are great. They'll work perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get a craw though. Something, but we've, something a little different. Some swimmers would be nice. And after seeing the way that this turned out, I want a I want a motor oil version of this one with blue and with the uh, yeah. copper. Oh. And I want some green flake, and then maybe we could do like some grass candy. Sprayed grass, whatever. We should, we're gonna do a post on YouTube 
I want. I basically want to know what color combo have you never seen, and what one do you want us to make? So this this color combo right here, do the, the best the best version of this one I have not seen. The one where it's right. completely bright purple on top, bright yeah. green on the bottom. We need to make that one. But like I've never seen anybody do that before, so yep. that's why I wanted Agreed. to do it. So what's a color combo that you would like to see that you've never seen anybody make before? Let us know. We'll pick one and we'll make it. Comment below. We'll do some polls about bait making, I think, as well on YouTube. So stay tuned for those and make sure you vote on them. And uh, it'll be like if we get like a top three baits that have never been made. Oh, yeah. And we choose I one to do. Yeah. So this will be a lot of fun. This is going to be right. more interactive than a lot of stuff that we get to do. Yep. And it's not just us randomly unboxing. So I like it. Uh, thanks for watching. And subscribe for the journey. Bye. See you guys next time. And then let's inject them. <laughs> Get injected. Get injected.